Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Did you know you can place any gadget or weapon on your pixel? Just pause and choose pixel from the menu. You can also use it in first person by holding down the L1 button. To use the Tesla car, keep the circle button held down. To use the Pulsar, hold down the circle button.
Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Cut! And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my- We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! <laughs> The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Press the square button to go, and the X button to rise. Push the X button harder to rise more quickly.
hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. You should press the select button to bring up the map and go to your ship. It's marked with a star. It. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Geronimo! 
Bowl! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck! Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh.
Listen up, you lard balls. That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it is weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can spin without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. Congratulations on your new Gadgetron Slingshot. Use it on standard Versa targets like the ones nearby. If the target is out of view, use the L1 button to move. Quickly center the camera, just tap the L1 button. That's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. <laughs> Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Try using the Halifax Boost Jump feature to find these boxes. 
Press the R1 button to crouch, then jump. You'll need your new four-pack stretch jump feature to cross this gap. While you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. Try using the glide feature of your new helipad. Jump, and then press and hold the X button in the middle of the fly. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. 
We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. Haha, <laughs> now you're talking.
Precision laser technology. The Gadgetron Trespasser is guaranteed to work on Gadgetron's line of Invinso lock security bullets. Laser are mounted on each room of the Invinso lock. Aim the lasers at the receptors on the outside room to turn them green. All receptors must be green before the Invinso lock will open. signal whatsoever. This downtime is killing me. Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info pod. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. It's him, Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw you, screaming for help. Uh, that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Eh, he's okay. But I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... Shh. 
One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well, all right. You just keep that foot elevated. can't even buy these. Well, I gotta bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. You've just acquired a Gadgetron Z3000 hoverboard. Use your new hoverboard at the racetrack in Blackwater City on Planet Real Dark. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir? You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs>
<laughs> you sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind Boot Tester, Warhead Assembly Technician, Mutant Animal Husbandry, Robot Repair Man, Suck Cannon Test Dummy, and Administrative Assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go.
Gadgetron's suck cannon can vacuum up multiple enemies, then fire them out as high-caliber missiles. Caution, enemies must be small enough to fit inside the belt. I got some great bargains for you today.
thought I was a goner this time. Some nano-wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now. Honestly, a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So, you are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. My soon-to-be-patented grind boots. Look, I, I, I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount, too. Well, thanks. I'm gonna get out of here while I still can. You've got the grind boots. Grind boots let you travel on rails like this. Just jump onto the rail and grind.
just activated a gadget body. To command a gadget body, hold down the triangle button and select wait, follow, attack, or enter. <laughs> the Gadgetron Hydro Displacer uses Insta Faucets and Insta Drains. Using it, you can drain and fill pools. Our sensors do not detect any on this space station. I'm back. So you are. And I found this. Hey, cool. It's a, uh, uh, what is it? A hydro displacer. Great. I always wanted one of those, I guess. This shuttle has an autopilot which will take you to a decommissioned LARP warship. Our scanners indicate that there may be useful technology on board. Selecting our automated self-destruct feature. Vessel annihilation sequence initiated. Please remove all personal belongings.
This is Darla Gratch reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Quark will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship, which will be held here over the next few days. In related news, this planet has recently been suffering from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. Did you see that? Yes, I hope that poor woman is all right. Ah, uh, she's fine, I think. I was talking about the hoverboard races. robot. Trade you. Well, okay. Ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry, he's not for sale. What's a rhino, anyway? Rip you a new one. What did you just say to me? R-Y-N-O. Rip ya a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of bolts. He must have stolen it from the Blar. Stolen? Look, trash can. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll... Wait, don't tell me. 
Rip you a new one. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quark's giving away a brand new Platinum Zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A Platinum Zoomerator? Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait, do you guys mean Skid McMarks? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it, so we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that.
Hi, folks. Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's HoverCon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey, look. That's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T-15 Platinum Zoomerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have. Tonight, remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic Channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a Quarktastic day. Conference is over. Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer. Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick. Now beat it! But, sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark won't understand once we... Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the captain in his underpants, underpants. then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making six bolts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. Nice. 
You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark? What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet, I've been keeping an eye on you. And I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean... I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question. But Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contractions? Can you quickly quunk? Can can you quickly quit? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. Meet me at... Uh, uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet. What do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. <laughs>